Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Chesh from Chesh Breaks, and uh, this is Know Your Role and Shut Your Mouth. Speaking of people shutting their mouths, we've got Blakey from Cherry. Hey, Blake, how you doing? Good. Uh, I hope you meant that ironically, because I never shut my mouth. Yeah, I did mean that ironically. That was that was the that was the joke. I I, I need to have a soundboard <laughs> that's just like that's day. the joke. It's been a big day. Um. That's all I got. That's my only excuse. <laughs> well, it's been a big day. Uh, we've got five shitty Crimson Invasion Pokemon packs to bust. So this is going to be um fast. <laughs> yes, um, Crimson Invasion, uh, the only set that hasn't gone up. Yeah, because it's shit. Uh, this and Steam Siege are both really, really poor sets with collectors and players alike. Uh, Steam Siege at least had some interesting... Uh, or GX Pokemon. Um, yeah, what's this? I can't even remember what this one's got. Uh, Guz, Guzzlord? Oh, the Guzzler, as I call him. Um, maybe some Ultra Beasts? I don't remember. It was just Oh, that's trash. right. No one gives a shit about Ultra Beasts anymore. No. Nah. Um, but yeah, this was that's just like good. the worst set. I don't even remember what the secret rares in this set were. Um, uh... Yeah, neither do I. There were no like there were no Pokeballs or anything. It was like really was just a trash set. Um and Is I decided like a skateboard? Uh it might be. A skateboard? That's one of Dale's favorite cards. No. Oh. Hopefully we don't crack that then. <laughs> <laughs> um but other things aside before we get cracking, do you do you have something that you want to talk about? Uh, yes, I do, actually. Speaking of being very tired and a long day, um, coming up in December, and I know we're talking about this early, but this feels like something that needs a lot of planning, and planning is not my strong suit, ever. But the team at Cherry Collectibles, um, in association with a number of very talented content creators, will be doing a 24-hour live stream of trading cards. 24 hours straight. Wow, that's a lot of content. Yeah. And you said this is December? December 19th, the weekend before Christmas. So uh, my assumption is that I'm probably not going to get home for Christmas, so I may as well entertain myself and everyone else with a 24-hour stream where the goal of it is to make a big, massive donation to charity at the end of that. Oh, nice. Which charity are you supporting for this? Um, every year, Cherry does something with the Giving Tree Appeal. And um, the Kmart Giving Tree Appeal. You know, last year we did a whole bunch of stuff. We just went in, bought $2,000 worth of toys. Um, and then this year, we're hoping to do even bigger of a donation. But damn, that is a lot of donating Yes. Yes. Um, and so... Heaps of giveaways, heaps of cool stuff happening, heaps of uh, breaks, guests all night, prizes all night, little giveaways here and there to make sure people are still watching. Nice. Yeah, and so, you know, I've got my little thing. So from midday to 11, uh, midday to midnight is top tier content. And then, you know, until 3 a.m., it gets, it gets a bit at a... Uh, you know, has some content aimed at our international friends. And then from uh, about 4 a.m. to 7, it's a shit show. So, <laughs> you know, wish you'll, me luck. You'll be all primed by the time you hit around the 9, 9 a.m. spot. Yeah, so uh, we're going to have Chesh on, uh, albeit hooker by crook, uh, Discord potentially in store, depending on whatever happens, um, for, I assume, just the Pack Wars segment. Which will yeah. be nice and early at ten AM. We'll be doing something. Something. Bit of pack wars, bit of something. Um my day is split into twenty four one hour segments. <laughs> so it's like, you know. And you're a former Pack Wars champion, so I figured that would have been the best one to have you on. I am. That was that was sad getting knocked out, like I was like, uh, do we want to have you on for gaming? Do we want to have you on for break? Do we have, want to have you on for Pack Wars? And I'm like, Pack Wars it is. Pack Wars the easy choice. 
and maybe you can defend your town, regain your crown live and in living color. <laughs> ah, ye of little faith. Actually referring to me. Let's hope this. Yeah, I don't know, that last one. Oof. That was, uh, that was pretty yeah. crushing. And not, not yeah. just the fact yeah, that, like... Even... Go ahead. It wasn't even, like, a, a massive win. No. Like, it was just, know, like... Two bad packs. Packs? Ah, oh, that's terrible. Marowak? Oh, uh, oh, I'm starting to remember this set now. Pack two? Yeah, it was just a really bad set. Why would they bother? I, I I think this was just kind of like one of their padding sets. Yeah. Like in the middle like, of a block where they kind of didn't know what direction they wanted to go in. But I'm not even doing the trick here. Because, like that. My lighter color. Just horrible, horrible shit. God, come on, do, do a couple of pack tricks. Ah, fine. Jeez. Or is it a uh, code card out, three cards from the back? One, two, three to the front, getting rid of the energy as the, lot, as the fourth card from the back. Alright. Fine. See if nothingness, not unlike this entire set. Heck a mo 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 o Fighting memory. Ido in my pants. Dali. Four fish. Uh, Pumpkaboo. Salandit? Mm -hmm. Well, ghastly at least. Uh, oh, and we actually did hit a GX. Oh! Uh, Silvali GX. You know. Silvali, that's nice. Worth nothing, but uh, something. And they even reprinted that in a better artwork. Which is <laughs> really? That's what makes it so bad. Was it, was it the next set or the one after where they had him with Gladion and it was like, wow, this is really cool? Uh, I think it was the one after, yeah. Oh, I think. One, two, three, that's energy. And Killer Swine. A Lowland Graveler. They had to shake things up. Diggersby. Win up. New Mel, Mancino, Mr. Revis, another Alolan Geo dude because why not the same ones? Uh, this is odd. So Foil Haunter, Haunter, and and I love uh, even. Great. Well, we got a Ghastly and a Haunter. Maybe we'll get a Foil Gengar. That'd be nice. Yeah, I can like stick him in one of these. So, um, yeah, I, um, we got some gifts from uh, the Industry Summit, and uh, yeah. just, we have the new, um, the brand new, oh, sorry, did I drop out there? No, yeah. Uh, the uh, brand new two, one touch of that, that are magnetic. What? Uh, so we'll be giving away a few of those for the old 24-hour uh, stream. Mm. Some raffle action. Raffle actions all. Mm. Got a Larion. Lavia. And Gino. No. Duffle. Technia. Dario. Gosley. Aaron. We got a reverse egg is cute. And it's going to be trash. Yes, it is. It's camera a camera up. That is definitely no good. Ugh. Well, that was trash. So people are probably wondering why I bought trash to open on stream. Well, here's the thing. So because of lockdown, there's no places for us to really go and physically pick up booster packs off the shelf. So that means that if you want to buy booster packs, you generally have to either overpay for them or you're looking at um, uh, uh, buying them like in store somewhere. Mm. So when you're doing the online for say Big W, the day before they have a sale, 
sad face. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, it, it, it's one of those things of where... Um, Huh, why is YouTube not connected? Oh, it's not ideal. No, it's still on the Twitch, so that's fine. I don't know what's happened there. Um, yeah, so when you do the assorted booster thing, they're supposed to literally give you assorted. Instead, Big W just grabbed all of these blisters out of the same pack and packed it up for delivery. Just completely dogged you there. Yeah, yeah, well, pretty that's much. Like, um... They do that with their wrestling figurines as well. Yeah, you'd think that they would, like, rant, you'd, that, give you some, some nice food. random, but, yeah, not not the case, unfortunately. No. So, uh, that was a Well, way. at least there was a GX there. Yeah, exactly. That'll sell okay. for, like, $2. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag amazing content. But I got to hang oh. out with you, and that was the point of yes. this. Because I That's feel like it. I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I've been a very tired boy. Been a, been a busy boy. You've especially been a busy boy with busy encased breaks. Holy crap. Uh, isn't it great? Has your tracking updated yet? Uh, it has. It updated this afternoon. Oh. Yeah. So that, that was sent out on Monday, and I literally checked a couple of times, and it hadn't updated. Trust me, I've been checking it like a hawk. I'm, I'm still trying to, like properly classify what I'm supposed to be trying to sell it off for. Because <laughs> yeah. that's going to go back into some product. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that works. <laughs> what, what sort of product are you looking at? Well, I don't know. I, I want to get some more, before it goes out of print, some more uh, GX All-Star tag team. Of course. So that's high on the priority list. Um, as As is looking towards next year and what's coming out next year. Um, yes. Commander Legends is coming soon. Um, and I, I absolutely need to get myself a box of Commander Legends. I, I may or may not have bought a Zendikar, Rise of, uh, Zendikar Rising collector's box today. So That's good. that'll be foily goodness to open for the channel. I don't know how I'm going to open it, whether I'm going to like attempt to group break it or whether I'm just going to break it for me. And then yeah. sell off the singles, which is probably more likely. Well, that's like uh, when we got the... Uh, so at the summit, they gave out prizes to uh, anyone, just to random people. They drew everyone's name out. So I was like, oh, I don't know whether I should, you know, open my prize or pass it on to the people. And so I decided, I have decided to pass it on to the people. Ooh. Horrible feeling there's going to be a Tom Brady or something in there. going to be something nice in there. You can yeah. kick in yourself. Oh, well. <laughs> But it's for a good cause, so... That's it. That is it. Mm. But yeah, like, I, I don't know. Like, I was looking at what was coming out. So, like, Hoops doesn't have a guaranteed SIG, right? Yeah. In a box. So that makes it slightly more risky than I would like at the price that is coming into the country. Yes. Um, the draft contenders, as much as it's a nice product, with its, like, six, six signatures per box... I don't, I A, don't like the look of the base cards, but B, also it's college jerseys, which is renowned not to sell the best. Mm. Um, like, you can absolutely win off those boxes. Oh, absolutely. Like, if you, at this point, if you get a one-of-one one Lamello ball, you are absolutely screaming. <laughs> you know, yes. that's, that's going to pay for another case easy for you to buy. Um, the advantage um, that this year's one has is that Lamelo and a few of the other big guys aren't actually in what you'd call college gear. They're just not in NBA gear. Yeah. Look, I have a question. Have you hit any Killian Hayes yet? Yes. Uh, in store we have. And I think someone got an order on one of the first couple of nights. Nice. Yeah. Because that's, that's my odds on favorite for next year, to be honest. Oh, really? You're yep. uh, all aboard Killian. I'm all aboard I, I had a look at his stats. I was looking through it. And I was just like, "Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty good. He is pretty good. I think he's going to be a sleeper towards the end of the season next year for sure." Yes, I think uh, he's definitely going to be a little bit of all right if mm. we're being honest with each other. But then again, I think there's a few. I think there's going to be a few guys who are just going to be exceptionally talented coming out of the draft class. Mm. 
Um, and I think that that's good. That there's a lot of guys that we kind of look at and like, oh, he's going to be all right. He's going to be all right. He's going to be pretty good because it kind of spreads the love out a little bit, um, which increases value again. So this whole hobby dying thing is not going to happen. No, the hobby is definitely not dead. It's it's absolutely was you know was going to slow down somewhat. That oh. that's just like a given. But I mean, currently looking at the way things are, like. It's it's going to yeah. slow down, but it's definitely not going to die. And it's it, the thing is that the no. bubble doesn't exist per se. So a lot of people are saying, "Oh, there's all these people investing in this bubble's going to burst. They're going to like flee and they're going to sell off." You know what? That's if that's going to happen, that's already happened. Look at yeah. Chronicles base cards, yes. because oh, Chronicles in general, that's non hobby. So anything non hobby for Chronicles, like the singles, have dropped in price quite dramatically. Yeah. Um, we we know that that luminance Jama rant was you know fifty to sixty dollars. Now it's down to fifteen. You know yeah. because yeah. and it's not because of a bubble break. It's because the product became more accessible. It it goes back up at some point. Once yeah. the product dries up, it shoots all the way back up. Yeah, exactly. And it, so it, it, if anyone's out there thinking like, oh. I'm not going to get on the train now because I'm going to waste my money. It's like, well, that's not necessarily true, but I do think no. you have to pick correctly. Um, oh, yes, absolutely. I think there's going to be, you need to play it smart. Um, I think I think it's like any investment. You know, you're not just going to chuck your stock money at the first stock you see. You're going to do some research. You're going to figure out exactly what you need to buy, what you need to do, and you make your choice from there. As I always say, dedicate to educate. That's it. By yourself. Um, this the same with uh, oh, what's it called? Donruss, the clear one that's coming out. Clearly Donruss. Clearly Donruss. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, um, I I really like the look of it. I do. Amazing. Like I don't think I've ever been so excited for a product before. I'm excited, but at the same point, I'm also terrified of the price. Yeah, so um, I think it, w it was headed for a bit of a drop and then people saw it and a few more people were like, oh, you know, and how much this is, I don't mind it. You know, I'm happy to throw a 500 bucks at it. And then it went, just went straight back up because of that. Yeah. Which makes me a bit sad that I didn't get it at like the 500 all mark because now I'm like, nah, I don't think I want to go over that. Yeah. But like Hoops Premium, we all thought that Hoops Premium would be, you know, 250, 300, and instead it's like more 450, 500, which yeah. sucks because it's like, I think the ceiling on that product should be around the $300 mark, considering it's not like, mm. it, it feels more like a Timor product because it doesn't have the guaranteed yeah. auto. It kind of feels like almost Hoops Optic. Yeah. Like if it had the autos, it'd be like a Hoops Optic style thing. You know, one where you might not necessarily want the autos, the silvers and the color variations are, are good enough. Yeah. yeah. And that's exactly it. I was like, ah, oh, but it, 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 it looks great, but not having that auto, like not having that, that really solid pull you in chase, just yeah. like, oh, it's not enough to keep me there. But um, I'm excited to see what the uh, numbered variations look like. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm really excited to see you guys open the Clearly Donruss. Like, yeah, I'm just like, oh, I, I, I don't know if there's breaks left for that, but I probably should look at that. I believe there is. Hmm. Um, for for myself, I picked up a box of Shiny V, which is the new Japanese Pokemon set coming out. Yeah. Um, which, very exciting. Extremely exciting because it's Shiny Pokemon, and there's also a Shiny Charizard to chase. I can't believe there's another one. Yes, 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 yes. Slightly. It actually Sorry, is so please. surprising there's another one. Well, you've got to remember it's Japanese and not not US. So we don't know if US will actually do it. Um, my big problem with this is that it's slightly more expensive than GX All Stars was. Um, is there a Charizard in GX All Stars as well? Uh, technically speaking, yes. Charizard oh, Reshiram. Yeah. The Reshram Charizard gold card was the big chase for that one, um, as well as we the first, the rainbow. We got our first gold card the other night. 
unfortunately it was uh, I think it was like the Zororok one potentially oh. <laughs> yeah um which yeah I mean like I pulled the rainbow Eevee out of one, one of my boxes and that sold for like 50 bucks so that's not too bad yeah. considering the boxes are usually around anywhere from 80 to 150 dollars that's not too bad yeah I think I paid something like 90 98 dollars per box yeah. That so was like half the box cost out of one card was pretty good. Um, hmm. But uh, yeah, so I don't know what we'll be doing with the Shiny V, whether we'll be like breaking it for the YouTube or whether we'll just break it for ourselves. Um, yeah. Do that it's, out. Uh, it's hard to decide. Yeah, because like I kind of want to do the Charizard chase for myself, but at the same time, hmm. it's like, you know, I could put that money back into the channel and buy another box yes. and allow people to keep chasing. I don't know, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah. I'm trying to lock in Grayson for Monday, so that should be interesting. Oh, good luck. Yeah. Having... I've been trying to... It's hard to lock him in when you're talking to him at work. Yeah, <laughs> I imagine so. Yeah, so. yeah. It's, um, it's good. It's, uh, there's a lot going on in the hobby, and uh, it's going to be very exciting. I feel like this year will just be capped off by someone doing a 24 hour stream. Yeah. My goal is to not leave the camera at all. Um, at all. How, how, how are you going to defecate? Um, I'm going to eat light meals that won't make me defecate. I can hold for 24 hours, defecate beforehand. And then when I go to the bathroom, um, I'm just going to FaceTime into another phone. <laughs> Obviously on mute, but, uh, you mean people will be able to see your pee face? Oh. What, what is there a pee face? <laughs> if you've been holding it for long enough, yeah, there sure is. I just have, will have to not hold it. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. It's, it's so like you've never been on a heart trip. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, it's, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, my plan is to not leave the video chat in some way, shape, or form for 24 hours. Ow. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna call you crazy. Feels it feels pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> it's funny because like one of the things I was gonna suggest at one point was like the burrito challenge between you and me. <laughs> well, I I just feel like anything eating challenging with that sort of thing. Yeah, it's just gonna ruin me. That, like, that's why I was like, yeah, I'm just not gonna suggest it. That's that's just like it. It gets to a point, like especially. Like when you're streaming for that long, where I mm. don't think that you're going to be able to cop a full meal and stay awake. No, um, my big fear is, um, yeah. Once you get to that point, what happens? Like, you know, once I get to my absolute most tired, what happens from there? Because <laughs> obviously, there's some huge breaks happening at the start. Yeah, massive showcases, huge prizes. Um, and then, you know, it, it's pretty full on breaks until the 12 hour mark, which I think I'll be fine. Um, I've done 12 hours worth of streaming in a day before, you know, the other day was seven and I reckon I could have gone longer. Like, yeah, I've done 12 before and 12 is fine, but 24 yeah. is just, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So like it was seven hours of streaming with, you know, the six hours of work beforehand. So I think being fully prepared, fully realizing what I'm going into and knowing how to spend my energy, 12 hours will be fine. Hmm. It's what happens after that is, which is the fun part. I've got a, I've got um, an hour set out for just ASMR content, which by that, it just means I'm just going to be real quiet, not talk too much. Um, just kind of relax, do some stretches, make sure I don't, you know, seize up too much. I think it's I think it's the three AM slot, four AM slot. Hmm. That's gonna be the other thing is like when you're because when you're constantly opening product as well, like that mm. is quite a drain on your hands. Because yes. like especially if you're coming across like um optic packs, because I don't know I you can probably back me up on this one. I, but I don't know about the rest of the people out there, but when you're opening optic packs, they they kind of tend to be they feel stiffer than usual packs. Yes. So, like, I, I always have trouble trying to, like, grab them in the right place to actually rip them open. Mm. So, 
kind of like digging I, your nails into your fingers. Yeah, I think I'm um, doing it for, you know, four hours every day. You kind of get into a habit that helps you the most, but um, is how I used to think. And then, you know, once you hit that seven hours, eight hours, especially with something like AFL packs, <laughs> you just become cooked. You literally just sit there and you're like, oh, all right. My hands are cooked. My wrists are cooked. You know, back sore from kind of half leaning over. So it's going to be very, uh, make sure that you make sure I'm keeping hydrated. We got a water cooler in at work. So now it should be, you know, it should just be water there at all times, which will be good. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. And of course, uh, you'll be in to, you'll be in to see me at my worst. You'll be the last guest. <laughs> Oh. The, literally the last person before the big wrap up because uh, I think pack wars will be happening from nine to ten ish, mm-hmm. and there'll be a personal from like ten to eleven. Maybe swap that. I don't know. Everything's kind of up in the air at the moment. Um, yeah, uh, like a few of our guests who are, like there's one guest who might potentially come in because um, she doesn't live too far away, and I was like. She's like, oh, so what time's yesterday? I'm like, you are not going to want to be next to me that early in the morning, uh, you know, <laughs> after, well, you know, close enough to 20 hours of breaking. You're not going to want to be around this. Because you're going to smell like a real man. Yeah, I'm going to smell bad. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be able to talk. I'm not going to be able to focus. Whereas with you, I feel like that's kind of better for your content. Well, I mean, you know, I am half blind, I- so... Well, that's what I thought was, yeah, that's perfect for you. You know, Chesh's content would probably lean into me doing, you know, um, me being a bit cooked, having a lot more fun with it. But then when there's, like, people with professional content who, you know, completely <laughs> different market to what, you know. I was going to say, you're saying my, my content's not fucking professional, cunt. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying that you can say the cunt word, and I don't think that this... Some of the other creators can. No, no. I take a lot of liberties because I don't, I don't really care. That's it. And I think that would be, so that's why I'm saying it's perfect for, uh, you know, 10 a.m. after I've been awake mm-hmm. for 22 hours straight. Although I will go on record as saying, um, when I come on Sherry's stream, I will absolutely curb all the swearing. Ah. I'll still be hilarious. Yeah. There just won't be, yeah. Where, his, he'll swear it. The, the F's and the C's will be gone. Um, because I I can be as unprofessional as I want on my own stream, but when it comes yeah. to somebody else's stream, like especially considering that like it's a morning slot and Cherry um do absolutely um appeal to yeah. you know different ages. Um, That's it. And I know that you guys have parents that watch with their kids. Yeah, um, which is um something that's hard to keep in in tow. Yeah. And so, especially, and when we're collaborating, collaborating with people, it's, you have to kind of almost meet their level, which I'm sure you'd 100% know. Oh, absolutely. You, I've been doing if, this too long. If you want to be shared by them, if you, you want to match their sort of thing. So on yours, I know I can be a bit more brash, a bit more brazen, you know, and you know that, you know, when you come onto ours, you can still be pretty much the exact same, just a bit less swearing. Yeah. Whereas when we go to like professional podcasts, or podcasts that are aimed at like a younger market, it's like, all right, tone it back, you know, way back. <laughs> yeah, a bit more wholesome. Yeah, it's um, it's a lot of fun. I uh, did Brody the Kid, who's a uh, prominent figure in um the children's collecting scene in America. He was the kid reporter, you know, mm-hmm. cards that come in the NFL packs. Yep. He, uh, he won that, and so I went on his podcast, and it's just such a good vibe, such a good, wholesome vibe. It's like, ah, you know, and when he comes on our stream, it's like it's going to be the same sort of vibe, same sort of wholesome, good vibe. You know, and then when, you know, we talk to the Talking Pot uh, Cardboard guys, it'll be very informational vibe when we're talking, you know. It's amazing how much different content people can get out of cards. Um. Which it's just amazing. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, everyone's everyone's got to innovate in their own little way. Like, mm. there's not 
the way that I always say it is like, there's not many people out there willing to like wear up a storm in their streams. Exactly. Because they want to appeal to as many people as possible. And I'm at the point where with my magic, the gathering stuff, I generally, on, on my channel, I don't swear much on the podcast. I swear a little bit. Um, but on my channel, like I know that's watched by wizards. Um, mm. I know that I have to watch my P's and Q's or that can affect my professional relationship yeah. with them and with stores. Um, Absolutely. So even, that's... Uh, even just content we share that, like, Panini will tune into the 24-hour stream at mm -hmm. some point. Exactly. It's like, you know, got to be a good boy. Especially don't want to say the C word around Americans. Holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's, um, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm super excited to do it. You know, I'm super excited for how much we're going to be able to cram into 24 hours. And I'm looking forward to it going without a hitch, off without a hitch. Yeah, it sounds nothing, amazing. Nothing can, nothing can possibly go wrong. <laughs> I mean, you say that. <laughs> Listen, the, it, it's, well, it's well planned. The breaks are going to be similar to what I get up anyway. Like, realistically, I shouldn't shit the bed too much. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing. Like, realistically... It's not going to be that much different from current content that you're already making, mm. except the fact that as time goes on, you'll get more cooked, which means yes. it may lead to more hilarious little errors. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll be there for part of it to watch you and uh, to yeah, you hashtag you'll cheat be you You'll be there at my worst. Yeah. I mean, I'll be there at your best. I'll, I'll chew in, tune in from here anyway. Oh, excellent. Yeah. yeah, it's um it's gonna be really good and I'm looking forward to it and it's you know, hopefully reach new audience, hopefully you know, a whole bunch of different people tune in. It should be good. Exactly. Yeah, um and it's all for a good cause. So yeah, we're gonna have raffle tickets for ten dollars and literally just anything lying around the store, we're just gonna chuck in the old raffle bag. You know. And that's um, a really important thing for people out there. So even if you don't care about NBA and basketball breaks. There's going to be stuff for everyone, and there is going to be raffling stuff off as well. Absolutely. So, um, all the proceeds from the raffle will go to the, uh, go to the Giving Tree Appeal. Plus, on top of whatever we donate uh, ourselves, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Exactly. All right. I think I'm going to let yeah. you go because it has yeah. been a long day for you. Yes. Yeah, ready to go to sleep, I think. <laughs> I don't blame you. I feel much the same. Well, yeah. Blakey, thank you Thanks very for... much for coming on. Thanks for having me. That's all right. Um, where can people find you? Find me on Instagram at rainblaker, R-A-I-N-B-L-A-K-E-R. Or you can find your boy every night, 1 p.m. and 5 p.m., Cherry Collectibles. Uh, we're Cherry Collectibles on everything. You'll see us. Um, on the Instagrams, Facebooks, YouTubes, Twitch. There we go. Uh, as for me, Chesh Breaks, you know where to find me. If you don't know where to find me, just look me up. It's, it's fine. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing that they're watching the stream without finding you. So yeah, exactly. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have yourself a good night. You too, man. I'll catch you soon. Goodbye.